In today's video, we're going to spend some time with SIGs 191145. It's their base model, they call it the Nitron. Stick around. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed. So if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name's Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We'd sure like to thank all of our viewers and subscribers for sticking with us. Go ahead and right away hit the like, the share, and subscribe, and that way you won't miss a minute. Anyway, today the real star of the show is the SIG. This is the Nitron. This is the base model 1911 and 45 caliber that's offered up by SIG. And uh, it's the beauty of the 1911 is there's a lot of different companies that, that offer this platform and they all have their own take on it. Now, the, I've been looking forward to shooting this gun for a very long time and glad we finally were able to get one. Uh, SIGs never disappoint. It's got some great features that really blend the best of uh, the Colt design as well as what SIG has to offer. And the 1911 has been around since 1911 and the original John Browning uh, gets an update. Now one of the things that I want to tell you right up front is that at its heart the SIG is a Series 80. And uh, it, goes, it starts with a Series 80 and then it goes from there. Now it has a lot of great features. Um, starting with it's got what we call a, pre a precision machined bushing, and that's going to keep the very barrel very tight and very accurate. Now, other things to talk about are the fact that with the SIG, it's actually got a flattened top of the slide as opposed to the Colt, which has got much more of a round contour. That's a little bit different to get used to. It also comes with what we would call Novak style um, sights, or rather the cut on the frame, and this gives you a lot of versatility with different types of sights that are available if in case you want to replace them. Um, these sights are great just the way they are. Um, it also has a very high visibility sight up front. And when you're outdoors, that day glow picks up really fast and really bright. Other things the, the Nitron comes with is a skeletonized hammer, very similar to what's offered on the Commander. The beaver tail is slightly redesigned from the Colt. You can see these little cuts on either side here, which are a little bit different from the 1911. Uh, this particular uh, uh, grip safety comes with a real nice memory groove, which I really like. And another thing I really like is it's got a, a textured rear strap as well as the front strap. And it's got an aggressive but not too aggressive feel to it to where it feels extremely comfortable in the hand. It also comes with the VZ G10 grips which also feel great in the hand. There's just enough texture that I'm not going to lose this gun. It's not coming out of my hand anytime soon. But it's something that you could shoot all day and not get hot spots on your hand from handling it. Now, something that's real easy and plain to see is the fact that this has its own weapons light on board. And it's because SIG includes a, a built-in um, rail for mounting accessories. If you want to go with a laser or a light, I prefer a white light to identify the targets. Now, this also comes with a flared magazine well. And this was something that was actually added by the owner. And this, he's, he's a competitor, so he looks at the world through those eyes and that lens. And this gives you very quick reloads, very positive reloads, because it acts like a funnel to make sure that the magazine gets centered and seated right away. It's a great pistol. It, it also comes with some great features that um, the original John Browning design didn't have included, including an adjustable trigger. You can see the little adjustment screw right down there at the bottom of the base of the trigger. So you can adjust the trigger for, um, you know, the, the, the pounds that, you know, you feel most comfortable with and dial it in to make it where it feels good for you. Uh, I really can't say enough good things about this gun. It does have a few things on it that are strictly inspired by SIG. And if you notice 
the uh, serrations on the slide. They're very, very similar to what you would find on the 226, as well as these contour lines that are cut. Those definitely harken back to SIGS' 226. Now, internally, it's also going to have um, a, a couple of differences in that it has an exterior extractor, something that the Colts are different with, so that's proprietary. And it's also going to have a, um, a firing pin safety block built into it, which is also something proprietary and that uh, SIG has done to this. But for anybody who's ever spent time with a, with a Colt, this is gonna be nothing new. Um, I've never heard anybody you know, talk about a SIG that they regretted. I do know that um, when this first came out, it had some mixed reviews uh, regarding failures to feed, failures to extract, and just like anything new, it takes a little while to get the bugs out. But from what I understand from uh, my buddy who loaned this to me, this is a great shooter and it's his favorite all-time gun to shoot. So what we're gonna do now is put a few rounds through it and see how it functions. Now with a flared magazine well, you want to make sure that when you insert the mag, you make sure that it's good and popped because you're going to get a flush fit. And you want to make sure that's absolutely seated because the number one reason that semi-autos fail is because the magazine is not completely in place. All right, we're going to lock and load. The range is hot. That was so much fun, I think I'll do it again. Little different from my 1911 in my sights, so if I don't hit it every time, excuse me. That's better. Oh darn, I got one more clip loaded up. What do you think I had to do with it? Being the problem solver that I am, All right, we're safe and clear. I didn't have the, I, I didn't hit the target every time, but I got a case of getting happy with it, where, you know, like a lot of shooters, you take your eye off the ball because you're having so much fun. And I can tell you, this SIG is a lot of fun. And uh, if my buddy ever needs to sell it to make a little bit of extra room in his gun safe, I'd probably make an offer on it. Anyway, it's a great pistol. And you know what's coming up next? Shooter shout out. First of all, I want to give a big shooter shout out to Ryan, who loaned us this fine specimen of a 1911-45 from SIG. This is a real piece of art, and I'd love to have it myself. All right, now we want to give a shout out to Naden Tanovic, who really enjoyed the Burst of Firestorm 380. He writes, quote, a great review, made a decision based on this video, thanks. Hey, Naden, thank you. Um, if, if we helped you out and uh, got you on the, the, the short path to getting what you wanted, then, then our mission's complete. Thanks for letting us know that. Uh, next one goes out to Suave, and he really liked the Glock versus the Springfield XD. He says, very informative, thanks. Suave, I appreciate a man a few words. Thank you much. That's a big hit with videos. A lot of people like it. Glad you did too. On behalf of Shoot of the Series, I'm Ed Thorell. Thanks for joining us on uh, our program, and we'll talk to you real soon. Y'all take care.